Hello everybody, 4444 Sun Ninja here doing a interview for Lego Mason Studios Bionicle the documentary interviews, although it may be a little light now, but you never know. So anyway, yeah. When did I become a fan of Bionicle? Well, it, I became a fan in either late 2001 or early 2002 when I got Golly as a Tomata, and you know, Golly, she just means the world to me. I can't explain how much she means to me. I mean, she... She gives me great comfort, and, you know, so, yeah, I lost her once, but now I found her again, and, yeah, so, anyway, and my favorite memories, well, I really like the good old days of the Bionicle, the old classic days, like, early times, like, 2001 to, like, 2004 and 2005, they were just, like, good sets, good storyline, I mean, the always the classic days, the good days, and you had... Good storyline, also. Like, you have the Toa Nuva just washing up on the shore, and that just started the whole Bionicle gig. The Toa Nuva just wash up out of nowhere. Nobody knows who they are. The Matorn don't know, and they, suddenly they defeat Makuya that one time, and then they become just famous. And, and what it means to me is that Bionicle means more to me than an inanimate object. I actually feel like especially I go for Golly here, is that it feels like they're actually my friends. And I don't care if you say that inanimate objects can't be real friends, because I believe they can with Bionicle. Bionicle just means a lot to me, so I actually believe that they can actually be my friends. And I'll remember Bionicle well, by keeping all the sets I have, just, just keeping them, and maybe I'll pass them on to future generations and my children to keep the flame alive. And... As Greg Farshi said, you know, the Lego company really can't do anything. The only people that can really keep the flame alive is the fans. And he used Star Trek for an example. When Star Trek ended, it was the fans that kept it alive. So if we can keep the flame alive, then just like Star Trek, Bionicle may come back someday. So, yeah. So remember the three virtues, unity, duty, and destiny. And the stuff that Greg Farshi said in the Greg Farshi interview. And with all this bundled up together, maybe, maybe my uncle will come back someday.